Hello guys, welcome back to another what if video. Today I'll be discussing what if Asta was Mars's brother. And I don't remember remember if I uploaded the first version or the second version of it, but this is the third and uh, final version hopefully. Because the last version was kind of weird. And all that in the sense, but uh, this will be another one. But this, in this what if, Asta and Mars will end up at the church in uh, Harsh Village. So yeah, I just want to clarify that already, that they will end up there. But they will start in the Diamond Kingdom, and for the experiments, they will still be experimented on. But Ost will just be a baby, no, not a baby, he will be like a two year old. And Mars will be four years old actually, so yeah. No, Ost will be one year old, as uh, no, almost one year old. That they, they still experimented on those and just gave them the double magic already when they were small. As Mars and Asta got it at the same time because they were found at the same time. They thought that we should probably do it at the same time and all that. Blah blah blah. Mars wasn't forced to fight anyone. He was experimented on directly. It took some time but he would soon develop his fire magic as well as his mineral magic. And for Asta he'll have mineral and mercury magic. So yes, um, let's get right into it. As it begins, sixteen years no, seventeen years before canon. Asta no, uh, where a baby is born. That looks like Asta, but it's not Asta actually. It's uh, actually Mars. As he will still have the same. No, it will. What I say that it looks like Asta. It will. It will be Mars as he will have like the color of Asta's hair. No, it he won't. He will have his kind of mineral magic colored hair. As to there was as his parents was happy about it and they was like, hmm, maybe we should have his get a get him to get a little brother, little sibling. They said, yeah. As now Mars was like two years old. As his little brother Asta would be born. And at this age Asta would actually. As Asta now was born. He will have the same hair. Kind of hairstyle as in canon. But he will have Mars's hair color. As they both sensed from there. That, that they would be really strong though. Even though Asta and Mars would be like. Kind of, we don't know if they have like. Peasants rank or anything like that in the. Then kingdom, but let's say that they were kind of no nobility. So they had this reason. That's why they are reasonably strong in magic power. As the reader said, they both had mineral magic. But one year later, uh, when Ost was one years old, the, his parents and Mars would just out. Uh, his parents and Mars and him was out on a field trip. As they had fun in the semester, I think suddenly got attacked by bandits. As his parents said to Mars that, get Asta and get out of here. We'll take care of this. Mars said, but no, wh why can't you come with us? They said, we'll hold him off. So Mars cried and said, no mom, I'm here, I'm staying here with you. I'm not leaving your side. They said, go Mars, save Asta for us. As then when they say that, they will get shot and killed. Then Mars said, no. Then he grabs Asta and runs away. As Mars is three years old now, he just runs and runs. As when he accidentally runs into a diamond, the like the one that has is the one that have control over the experiments as the general there. As he Mars said, "Sorry, sir. Apologies, sir." As he then walks away, then the guy says, "Hold up, wait. Who are you?" Oh, I said, "What? What does that matter? Are you gonna hurt me?" He said, "No." But who are you and why do you carry a baby? As Morse would say, explain everything that his parents just got killed by bandits and their last wish was to protect him, protect Asta. He said, I can help you with that. He said, I will never let go of him. Never. He said, well, I can, then I can help you both. Erase you. He said, really? I said, he would said, yes, I can. As he would just smile in his, in his head and said, I 
make a try experiment on them first before I try it on all the others. Seems like they both have already developed their magic. As you can see that when sometimes when Asta moved his arm, it, he would create mineral stuff. As for Mars, he saw that he also had it because Mars would have used his uh, since his boot foot like he was barefoot, he created mineral boots and running. So I thought that the, if they already developed all their magic right now, that would be pretty good to try experiment on because they will show that immediately, probably after experiment. So they said, if he come with me, Smurfs would be on his guard but still follow him. As later on he will bi blindly trust that man, but he will still n almost never let go of Asta. Then the man said, if you take these stones into your like uh, skin all that, you will become stronger and can protect Asta. As Mars said, really? As he was skeptic about it, but then said, do you trust me? As uh, Mars would actually say, yes, I do. As then he just took the stones into his like uh, head and so, he decided to trust him and then he said, do, do it on Asta too, as he said, so Asta can be strong, become strong too. As the guy would say, of course, as he smiled and said, said he's more stupid than I thought. Maybe it's because he's just three years old or something. Then he said, now, I need to do something. As he grabbed Mars and locked him in like chair, and then he just locked, grabbed Austin and locked him to the same place. As he then took needles and pointed at him and said, now, you are my subjects. As Mars said, what? He said, as I said, I, d I mean, you will become stronger and be able to protect him. If you survive, as Mars would be mad at him said, for a Julia, son of a... As then when the experiment was done, you know, the, then he would take, the guy would just take needles, as I said, pointed in them, and first in Asta, so Mars would say, no, Asta! Then he saw some weird substance coming from it, as it was kind of like, almost like a gas, but still a fluid, going into Asta, said, what are you doing, he said, and giving another magic type, huh? As the Mar Mars said, you monster! So when he tried to use the same fluid on Mars, it didn't work, so he tried to like, then he used fire fluid gas, Ma that fire, f fire fluid gas, fluid gas is the substance that you make in black flower, apparently. I just came up with that, that it's fluid gas that you make to make other people get two types of magic, as you still need crystals as well. Mars was now break free from that, and to, to the guys I said, now, uh, you will pay for that, as he has used his fire, uh, thought that he would use his mineral medic, but he somehow uses fire medic, he said, what the? As he now bur burns and scorches the guy's face, he said, ah, you little brat, as Mars saw his chance, saw, saw his chance, breaks, uh, breaks all the lows from the bones, as Mars now runs, he just runs away. You don't know where he runs, but we run away from the guy. As the guy said, I will get you! As Mars must have thought that I, I, we can't trust humans anymore. We can't. We have to live on our own. The only one I blindly trust that does treat us and experiment on us. Then if I look at Osta, Osta real life, as soon as I hear a briefing from him, then Osta just look, open his eyes and cry, start crying and said, Ch -ch 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 -ch. As the Mars would try to comfort Asta, Asta would kind of be a little bit more comfortable, but he would be like one year and two months, so Mars would still be able to carry him. Oh, I don't know how, but let's say that he can. As Mars is two, three years and two months, so yeah. As he runs and runs, as then he sees a church. He felt like, if, so if I get with someone, it must be a priest here. As he unknowingly had actually entered the, like, uh, the Clover Kingdom, as he just passed out right, uh, so right when he was about to knock on the door, he passed out. Then he saw like a, there was another baby's baby in, there was a, another one, no, he wouldn't know that, as you know, would already have been open there because he was there like one year earlier than Asta, Asta, like, yeah, one year and two months earlier than they arrived because he would arrive there with like, when Asta was born or something like that, so yeah. As Mars would just a bit, was about to knock on the door and ask for help, but then he was too tired as he fell down on the stairs and just fell asleep, hugging Asta, uh, protecting Asta. Now we switch to the forest perspective, he just hears something 
stones down on the stairs as it said out. What the was what was that? Stenia opens tries to open the door but he sees it's not budging. Then he said, What is it now in front of the door? As then he climbs out of the one of the windows. Then he sees that there's a child there holding a baby. And they're both sleeping, he said. Oh, they must have something run away. Maybe I can find their parents. Then he looks at them and said that no name. Like who doesn't only see their necklaces because they're no nobility? As for the names, I haven't figured out yet. I I, f I want to make it like something with diamonds, so like a diamond. They are. Uh, But I will come up with it later, but they will have the name Asta and Mars, huh? As he grabs both of them up and opens the church door. Let's say that here are the spare beds, I say you put them in the same bed because Mars wouldn't, when he tried to remove Asta from Mars, Mars would, uh, wouldn't budge his arm at all. It's so like maybe he was just wants to protect Asta at all. That Asta from any harm, they must have been through pain. As Mark suddenly wakes up the next morning, to Asta's crying, as Asta would have woken up earlier and started to cry, as Mars wakes up to this, I say, where am I? Father say, well, I found you out, out, like, uh, out cold on the stairs, so I brought you in here. He'd say, thank you, but can I trust you really? I say, what do you mean? I say, he would be surprised that the Mars actually could talk this much. Uh, but then Mars said, well, can I trust you? As we kind of get say, first say, well, I don't want to do anything to you, I promise. As then say, look, I, I'm raising a kid here too. I see you know us there too, us crawling on the ground. As they saw you know, just qu tried to get out of uh, uh, Mars's grip, but Mars said, no, Asta. Asta said, look at him, say, like saying, why? Then Mars said, fine, let's go off. Then I said, okay, Asta, you can play with him a little bit. While he was talking to the father, Mars would realize that he's not a bad guy, he really wants to help us. Then the father says, you, you must have been for a lot. Mars said, yes. He would say that out like, shortly. So then he would ask, where are you from? As Mars said, I don't know. Because he didn't know that he lived in the Diamond Kingdom or anything. But then he said, where am I? He said, you're in a harsh village in the Clover Kingdom. As Mars would say, okay, Clover Kingdom? I never heard of that before. As Father would say, so are you from another kingdom or something? He said, I, I don't even know. I, I don't know where I'm from. I just don't know where I lived. Like, I don't know where I lived. I just I said and say, I can't talk, tell you about where I, I don't know the name of the kingdom I lived in. Maybe I lived in Clover Kingdom or not, but I can't tell you of my past. I don't want to remember it at all. All I know that is my parents. You won't find my parents because they're dead. That is the only thing I remember. And that the last wish was for me to protect Asta at all cost. So that's why. Then he saw Asta's playing around with you know they were just having fun. The father said, well, you can stay here, so you know, you st because you still need somewhere to go stay. Smart said, thank you, sir. So you can call me father, or maybe not, not else. I, uh, I don't know what his name is in, because, yeah, I don't remember that, what the father's name is, but you can call me father or something. I said, okay. That's Yes, yes, don't, you don't need to refer me as your dad, but you can call me father uh, as I'm the father of this church, kind of leader of it, as Mars said, okay. As now, year, the years would have passed, the other, like, other guys, like, were was on the church would also come there as, as so well, some, at one point. As Mars and Oswald grow up, um, Austin and Juno would be really close, they would be real good friends, as then... When Yuna got his magic or already, Asta would already unlock his magic. To his surprise, he had two different magics, as Mars would 
let's say, right? Let's say, let's say that he got uh, like a trauma from the experiments, guys. So he wanted to remember that they got two medics. So he thought that uh, Mars would thought that he had the mineral, uh, what well, suppressed that also had two different types of medic. Then when he did it, he would be surprised that also he had it. As uh, uh, the father of the church would be surprised, but say, I wonder how you got to the type of medic, and that you had also developed your medic before it actually shows normals. As uh, also would actually say, I don't know. Then you used to use this mur murky medic test to play around with, because it's kind of like a clay thing, almost like it moved like a clay thing, so yeah. As for more serious use of flame medic and mineral medic to create like cool like, crystallized flames. Just to make a decorations. As it when he had released his medic from the crystals, it sometimes it wouldn't actually break if he had like a stone or something. So he incubated flames in and made crystallized flames. As would work as a light. As you say, hmm, cool. And then yeah. As for us, they would just create some mineral stuff and sometimes, but he would mostly play with his murky medic. As you know, what we yelled, said, I want two medic types too. I said, I, I was just both. I don't know how to get you one. As their father would one day ask about their crystals, Marshall said, I don't know, I, as long as I remember, I have had those. Their father said, Maybe it's part of your mineral magic. I say, It looked exactly like his mineral magic, actually. So much said, maybe it is. As then he said, look at us, said, maybe it is because he has it too. As now it will be when the drunk guy attacks you know. This time it will be Austin Mars just going and follow, spying on you know. Then when you know gets attacked, they both will go in. As the boyfriend of the drunk guy, as Austin is seven years old, and you know is also seven, but his Mars would be nine years old. Asmar said, let go of you know. I said, let go of my you know, my brother you know, as they would consider you as their little brother. As then, um, the uncle said, then two new brothers and guests together had to use my grimoire. As they would just still prevent him from using his grimoire because they were just too fast about it and punching him non stop and using their. Um, some of their magic as he used mineral magic to throw at him. Then uh, Mars would just use fire magic to burn him, kind of. As he dropped the pendant and said, I gotta take your pendants too. As he just saw that they had pendants as well. I gotta take your pendants and that boy's pendant. Set it for booze. And let's just say that the magic knights was there actually, and it was uh, uh, Yami Sukihiro. As we just hear this, uh, as we just hear kids just fight, uh, fight as we just go about to watch, then they saw two kids just protecting another child from a dunk, drunk guy that held a pendant. As then you just hear the boy say, Give the pendant back to you now! As you would say back, So this guy has stole a pendant from a child, as he would get mad at this and walk up to the drunk guy, knock on his shoulder, and said, Hey, drop the pendant, will ya? As Frank guys turned around and said, well, what you gonna do about it? As Yama said, well, what you are uh, gonna do about it? I'm gonna kick your ass. As then just Nick shocks the guy, like, and kicks his butt and say, ow, 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 as he drops the pen and just runs away. As now Morse and uh, Ost would get ready to fight the, the other guy as Yama as well, as they thought that, damn it, so there's another guy that wants to uh, the pen to, huh? Guess we have to fight. As Yama said, hey, kids. You're pretty strong. As I said, huh? You don't act like that other guy, huh? I said, no, I'm, I, why would I? I said, so you're not off the pendants? I said, no, I'm not. I just grab the other Eunice pendant and throw it back, say, here, you can take it. I said, thank you, but why did he help us? He said, because I'm a medic knight, it's my duty, asked the girl. Whoa, so you're a medic knight? I said, be surprised, say, whoa. I didn't know, that, I thought they only were stories, but I, I didn't know that they would be here, out here, I thought they only were in capital. Yarm yeah, said, well, that's mostly it, but my squad doesn't. I said, well, what's your squad's name? It's the Black Wolves. As I said, 
Well, you're, so you're the worst of the worst. I still would have started Super Automatic Knights, actually. I see, I'm so love say, yeah, I am. Then I say, well, okay. Then he's, he would, yeah, I said, so where do you live? I said, at this church in Haas. He said, oh, so you are orphans? He said, yes. As he would just look down, as much would say, it's okay, I'll stop. So said, well, what do you think about that? I'm adopting you. And yes, I'm making Yami adopt all three of them. I asked him, what? You want to adopt us? As he said, yes, you're insanely strong. And in return, I want you to join the Black Bulls later. As I said, I can't promise it, but maybe we can, right, brother? I said, just look at Mars said, brother, are you, you're the one calling the shots. As Mars said, well, since it did help us add our black ball member, as now they would see the robe, I said, as Yama said, well, I'm not just an black ball member, I'm the squad captain, I said, what? So, so, so you're the, 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 the god of destruction? I said, Yama's laugh, I said, the god of destruction, where do you get that from? He said, well, everyone knows about you, you're Yama Sekiro, the god of destruction, you destroy, uh, oh, you destroy so, stuff, so much stuff. Yeah, we just laugh about it, to say, <laughs> yeah, I probably do. I said, hey kid, so what do you think? Ostrid said, look at Mars, Mars said, well, why not? They said, they, um, then say, well, you gotta fill in those papers first. As Yama said, oh yeah, those paperwork, yeah. As they just walk down to the church now, with Yuno too, I said, there's, the father will see that there's a man with them, uh, and he has some weird robes, then he said, like, it's the black balls. Then he asked the uh, opponent to the Yami Sukiha if, if, uh, and asked if they caused any trouble. They said, no, they did not. Not to me. They beat the drunk guy up for stealing Yuna's pendant here. They said, okay, fa thank you for bringing them home. So, is there anything else? I said, yes, we wa he wants to adopt us. He, he said, for him, said, what? Then we said, wait, you're, you're the god of destruction. I was saying, laughs, <laughs> Love said, yeah, that's me. I'm the god of distraction. I still laugh about it, say, yeah, that's true. I then said, I want to adopt these kids. They're cool and have strong medic as well. The father said, well, here's the paperwork. I see you take out some papers. Yama had to in them, everything. Then yeah, then when we read the papers, I fight us about them and say, wait, those two kids. Their biological, biological brothers, what I could see, and that was that they had two types of magic. Father said, yes, it apparently they don't remember where they got it from, and they were born with those crystals as well. It has to do with their mineral magic, probably. Yeah, I said, oh well, I guess I take all of them. Then said, yay, we have a dad now, said Asta, because he wanted to remember his father. And I think, yay, we have a real dad now. Yun said, yay, I have a dad. I said, Mars said, well, guess you're uh, our dad now, huh? Yeah, I said, yep. Then it's called so funeral. No, I don't remember if, how old this funeral is. Uh, let's just see that he's five. No, oh, wait, just now. If Austin is eight, he will be eight years older than Austin. He will be 23. He's 15 now. Yeah, he's 15. Then it's called for funeral too. Then he has runs. Let's say that funeral was close by. I so wouldn't know where Yami ran, ran off to. Then Yami just walked out with them. So come on, let's go now. I said, okay, how, how long is it to the hideout? To our home now? It's not far, actually. It will be really short. Then he just, Finn will open a portal. As Finn will appear from a portal say, oh, Yami. Then he'll see the kids say, oh, so who are they? Yami said, well, our New York recruits. Yami said, what? Are you recruiting babes now? How, how, are you recruiting kids now? How far are you gonna go? Yama said, well, someone's gotta go somewhere, do it somewhere time, right? Then I said, no, these kids, they're orphans, so I want to raise them. I said, okay, that's a new Yami, I never heard you take responsibilities before. Then Yami said, tell Finn, say, do you want to die? So Finn said, no, no, no. So then I said, uh huh? Then it's walking through the portal there. So now let's say that it will be two years before Vanessa, no, three years before Vanessa and uh, some of the other members joins. So it would kind of be Yami and Funeral and 
and Henry. I don't remember if anyone else joined early. Um, Magna will join you soon. Yeah, I said it would be Yami, Finwell, as Astrid. Your squad is and Gordon. Gordon will be the two, but Astrid will think that he was way too creepy to talk to. As they walked to the hideout, said, "Oh, th this is so big." As they will see the hideout, Yam said, "There are, there are much bigger things at the capital, but this will probably do." I said, "Okay." As she walked down there, in there, as let's say that Vanessa actually had joined it, the group for one years ago. Then Yam said, "Okay, I'm home, back." I said, "Okay, where? What did you do?" Yam said, "Well, I had a little commission when I was out strolling after drink." And I found these kids and adopt ended up adopting them. I said, okay. And I said, oh, then you see the kids say, oh, it's so cute. And she was around towards her and asked me, like, ew, she, she's, then she whispered to Marcel and said, she's butt naked, she's almost butt naked. As Marcel said, yep, it's then Austin and Marcel would say, stay away. As Austin uses murky medic to block her path and, and Marcel would use mineral medic to block it. As the, she would say, what the? As Jan said, well, Vanessa, you need some clothes, put some goddamn clothes on. As she realized, oh shit, as that she went back to the sofa and just started continuing to drink it, I said, this is a madhouse. Jan said, yep, this is basically where all the mad, like, mad people that tries to take the medic entry exam ends up. I said, okay. And now, um... Yeah, I said, well, I can show you to your two rooms, or the rooms. I said, okay. As uh, he did, he said, okay, tomorrow I'll show you around the house more, all that, so yeah. I said, don't try to recount or destroy anything. I said, okay, we, but we want, we're just kids, we're like seven or nine. He said, yeah. The most said, hmm, mm hmm. Then they just walked down, walked to bed, and they just fall asleep immediately. Yeah, I'm just saying, did I do the right thing to just adopt those kids out of nowhere, he thought. Then Finor came to ask about it, said, so why did you, as Yam said, look and say, do you want to die? Finor said, what do you, no, I'm not, I just curious, what, but why did you adopt those kids? Yam yeah, would say, well... Even though they already had a home as the orphanage, they seemed that they could be, have much more potential if I raised them. I said, Finn was like, you do realize that you have to raise them properly uh, and not be like you. Then I said, what did you say? I mean, then Finn said, well, if you raise them like you, you are, they will probably destroy the place and make you mad. So you have to figure out a good strategy to raise them. Yeah, we hated to admit it, but he was right. As then he said, I guess you're right, Finro. As the next day, Asta, Mars, and Juno will wake up. As Mars and Asta had the same room, but and Juno will have the room next to them. As Mars and Asta would like to like have the bed next to each other, they will sleep together near each other because they were siblings. But soon they will get in new rooms where they joined like Medic Knight Scouts. Then, um, what is it now? Uh, next morning, they just go down, eat breakfast. Jan said, Okay, kid, I can show you around now. I said, We just show them around everywhere. As when it might come to the beast, Ost would be a little bit scared, but more too. As you know, we are hiding behind Ost as well. He saw that they were hiding, and said, Oh, they are actually nice. As he just holds down meat, stay good, just grabs it, all that. Then I said, as he walks down a hall and say, Oh, they're so big. As then one of them sticks out his nose and he sniffs Asta. I said, like, hmm. I see it bl kind of blows up Asta. Asta laughs, say, <laughs> It's funny. Then he scratches this as the beast does it, make the noise like it actually enjoys it, as the other just tries to do it as well. As now, Mars and Juno ended up clapping the others, as stroking and so. As Juno said, Hmm. They really do, like the beast hunt, the beast likes them. 
That's the time I said, okay, next next place as they showed us the library and everything. I said, okay. Then I would notice something. When they got back to like a, a corridor down the stairs to the no right where the dining hall was, they saw that it was a pillar and it wasn't there yesterday. Then when I asked Kanyama about this, said, oh yeah, this place moves around actually. So I also said, okay. Skip ahead until they get the grimoires. They were all no. Let's say that skip ahead to like till Mars get his grimoire. He will get a four leaf clover. They will, but first we got to grimoire tower. They will go to um Harsh Village grimoire tower because it was closer to Blood Bowl's hideout. As uh, he says, okay, t hey Mars, how old is you? Or how old are you? I said I've I'm fourteen. This was one year before he got the grimoire. I said, okay, next year we gotta go to get your grimoire. Smart said, okay. Then I said, when will I get a grimoire? When will I get a grimoire? As Jan said, well, you have to wait two years on after Mars. I said, no fair. Then Mars would explain that you get a grimoire once you're 15. I said, okay. As you know, but actually, would it be as cold, actually, as in Eastern Canon? Well, that as they go to Grimoire Tower in Harsh Village, um, Mars would get the 40th Clover Grimoire. As Austin and Juno be impressed, said, That's my big bro for you. Said he, to, said he, they did say to Juno. Juno said, You know, he's kind of my big bro too. I said, Well, he's my real big bro. As Juno said, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. As uh, um, Mars would say, Oh, Austin insists that it's a 40th Clover with. As it was two four-leaf clovers that merged together. It was a red one and a crystal one, like it had a crystal aura around it. And it was like a fire and passion on around the other. As they would just merge together, he would get like a... Kind of like a smoothing, like a whirlwind around the in a square around the four-leaf clover. And the four-leaf clover would be... Uh, golden. Then around it would be like a whirlpool, whirlwind. As you know, if you look up at the tornado, like from the upside, it would be like a screw or something. As there were like two stripes of, like they were was twisted around it in a circle around each other. As one would be crystalless and one would be red. I said, whoa, that's a cool grimoire. Smart said, okay, let's just go as they were told now. As two years later, no, but first, um, uh, Yamu said, so, do you want to join the Magic Knights? I said, I said, Mars said, no, I wait for Austin until he gets his grimoire. Yamu said, Sian said, oh well, you can try it later, okay, maybe. When, now Skip had two years, Austin and the Yuno will get their grimoires. At first, they will just see Yuno's, let Yuno and Austin will get the grimoires first, and they wonder why. Then they will see a bright, like a dark green light just coming down to Yuno. Slowly, like an epic moment, it does shows that it's a four leaf clover as well. Just like, what the? Two four leaf clovers in two years? Like, what is this? And it seems to be like from the same place, or maybe because they're hanging in the same group. Then, time for Asta. They was like, he doesn't get a grimoire. I said, it would take some time for Asta, but then he would get two grimoires from the top, very top of it. As it would be one crystalless and one like silver, like platinum color, he will have platinum mercury magic. And yes, I will make him a platinum mercury magic shadow, but they, they, that exists now. I should have like platinum color, but it would have like all the spells that the um, uh, uh, no, no soil have. And so, as we get like uh, that, and yeah, as they merge together, I said, cool, as he will get a, also a golden four leaf clover on it. So it will see, like, it will actually be noticeable. But instead of a whirlwind around him with his magic, it will be like, um, how should I explain it? Uh, half of the grimoire will be like platinum blue. Then the other half will be crystal 
white blue or some like gray blue or something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Crystal colors, Mars diamond color. I said, but us and Mars would actually have not mineral ma. Yeah, they will have mineral magic, but they will be colored just as diamonds. And I said, cool. As they will walk out and I said, like, cool. I have a four of color, grammar, nice. As you said, well, I have one too. Mar then Mars would just step in and say, well, I got my first. As I said, well, you was born first. As Mars said, fair point, fair point. Then Yom said, well, time to go back to the base and if you want to trade, then I said, well, yeah. Then I said, say, so which god will you join, Mars? Mars would say, well, I'm actually gonna join the same god as you do. I said, okay. As Oster thought, I don't know which god I should choose. Then Yom said, well, you, then you, when the Finn will just hear say, well, you can't take the medic entrance yourself. And you can see which squad wants you. I said, wow. Okay. As they all decided to just do that, as Yam said, okay, kids, you can do that. As then, but first, you gotta train for six months before it is. As they did. All that, as uh, Yam said to uh, Morse that you could have joined those two. A group two years ago, so you really want to be on the same squad as Asta. As 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 he said, yes. It's the last I want to keep protecting him. As Asta would hear say, "Hey, I'm strong enough to protect myself now, you know." Then Mars would say, "Well, guess you are." But still, I'm always be for fear be there for you, I said. I know that and I'm thankful for that, but I'm still old enough to protect myself. As Yom would kind of laugh at this. And all, but yeah. As for, uh, as now the six months have passed, they would go into the capital now. I said, oh, so that's the castle, huh? And let's just say that uh, when as that they, they stayed home like all the time when Antrix Sam was. As one year a luck would be there as and joined them as well. As the they said, Do you wanna fight? They said mostly wanted to fight the Mars, but most said no, I don't want to fight you. As then you want to tell luck to just leave them alone. Okay? They're kinda like my sons here. And I could say, okay. And I say, okay, then, then I want to even fight them even more. Then Yom will just grab and say, if you fight them, you'll die. I said, okay. So how much do you want to fight me, Captain? Ka Yom said, okay, I want to fight you. Now they will skip to the Grimoire, like, like, Grimoire scanning thing. As they say, oh, a fourth of cloak, you must be... I'm Mars, Sukihiro. As they would just take up the name of uh, Yami. And uh, yeah, the first it was you know, as he'd say, oh, fold of clover. Oh, very rare. And uh, he'd say, oh, a fold of clover, name. Uh, you know, say, Yami Suki, no, you know, Suki Hero. I said, okay. As he just looked up and said, you look nothing like him. He said, I'm his adoptive son. Then Mars would say, uh, Mars Suki Hero, also adopted by Yami Suki Hero. And I have a four leaf clover as well. So Scandal said, Well, two four leaf clovers? I said, No, I realized that. Wait, I sent away two four leaf clovers without doing any notice. I just noticed their names. Then I said, Hey, I also have a four leaf clover. And my name is Asta Sukihiro. I'm also adopted by Yami. I said, What the hell did Yami do to get on top of that three kids? What the? Never heard that Yami could care about someone that much. Then we just walk in. As the tables walking, no bird's cake was near, was near Asta, Mars, or you know. Everybody would notice this. It's like, what the? Then, let's see that Yama is looking for the bath again. Asta walks around and said, oh, hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Yami. He said, oh, there you are, kid. Hey, whatever you do, kid, you better join my squad, Asta will say. Was full say, what? You can't force me to join your squad. Yon said, yeah, I guess you're right, scared, but still. 
That's us to and consider joining your squad. I'll consider it. Yeah, I said, okay, that's enough for fuck it. I guess that's enough for me, maybe. As Asta now said, well, now he's away. As Asta and the you no, as now the captain, the ceremony began that as the captain walked in. As now the Antimac bird just left the place. As for the first test, the flying broom test actually. Uh, Yami, no, uh, Mars, you know, and Asta this. Uh, f fly with ease and stand on it just like you know did in canon. Everyone, everybody, three of them would do. Then Mars asked to say, guess this is too easy for us then. Then it was time for the knowledge test. I'll stand Mars would easily ace it as Juno had some problem with, but not matters. No, actually, they were all clear it. As they were all got a four out of five in it, they were a five out of five in flight. It was for the like more target practice one. Also, this creates his mineral and mi and uh, actually mercury medic. He said plant to the mer. I said mercury medic. He says this mercury medic first, then create some doll like uh, daggers, and then we create like mineral daggers as well. He just threw them at the target. As the captain noticed, it. wait, he has two types of medic. Then it was look at Morrison. He used mineral and fire medic. He said what the. Those kids, they look similar and all that. As Jabba said, well, they were born with their medic, two types of medic. Apparently, it's like, how do you know? I said, I raised them for God's sake. They said, what? Yami is a dad or something? As no one else of except for the Black Wars near the us, as that Yam had adopted, so had adopted two kids. Except for the Wizard King, but he wouldn't tell anyone about it. As so now they will get to of the target practice as um, we as they just look at units because he has one two two types of medic said so, no he has to win medic or only, only win medic. Now it's for the seed growing test. They will all say like okay so what will you do now? As Austin Mars will just grow it fast as hell. I should get a crystallized form. Then. For you know, it would take some time, but it will still actually reach the same height and all that as Mars and all that. And it wouldn't take some time, it would take like a half a second later than all standing Mars, Mars's. When they got done growing the test, I'd all say like, well, they're strong. And then for the next part, it was, I think it is, uh, let's see now. Target practice, seed growing. Uh, it is... It is, it is, it is, it is. What was it now? It's the creation test, as Asta creates like a mineral clone of himself with uh but instead of then holding us quite more made of mercury magic as he's posed it exactly like it's a, a stats next to it to say hmm. As the camera city said, Oh how you know little dude good as he managed to use both of his magic, he always had. Never saw that before from him. As uh, Nosal would be intrigued by Austin because he had not just he had two types of medic, he had the same medic as him, but it was all the colored. Then he was here, then he decided to just ask us about it later when it's time for the selection. As for Morris, he created a five. He clung of himself with a fire, like a fire in his hand, as he did at the same for him. To be like, okay, those kids did great as at the room. I don't remember what Yuna did, but I see that he creates a flower. No, not a flower, he creates like a, a wind something, I don't know. And time for the combat power proportion, as no one, like, there was only noob, some nobles that surrounds us and Mars. As the same noble challenge, the Yuna in canon. As now, 
Um, Yun would still have a much easier one side fight with the Lightning Mage as he would easily knock him out. As now it was Moore's fight who would be charged by a Water Mage. As Moore said, Water Mage would say, even though it had two tits made, he wouldn't be strong enough to defeat a Noble. Then Morris would say, oh yeah, he just uses mineral medic to just knock the noble out. As for Asta, he will have a mercury medic mage. That's a, no, not a mercury medic mage, he will have an iron mage challenging him. As he said, huh, he may have mercury medic and mineral medic, but he won't be able to beat my noble, nobility steel. As Asta would say, oh yeah. Finis uses Mercury Medic and the Mineral Medic to just break through his iron defense and just knock him out easily. Cap all captors would be intrigued to say, we want all of them. Well, of course Yama would raise his hand, but uh, no, none of the three just joined his squad as you kind of say, what the, why don't you want to join my squad? As for Juno, he owns the Golden Dawn. As for Mars, everyone raised their heads. So, except for the like, Vengeance, no, Vengeance should actually raise his hands too. They must said, I want to join the same squad as my brother, so I want to see everyone, uh, their hands are for Asta, as Asta walked up now. Everyone raised their hand again, Asta would say, huh. me and my brother will discuss this. As he would say, huh. I know but Sidor Igus, they have Mercury Magic got their leader there, but for the Crimson Lankings, they have like a fire that leader as they all have fire medic. <sighs> for Blurus Knights we are the only boys there. And for that other kid looking captain, I don't know. Must have kinda of whisper like oh, for a long while. Captain will be kinda of impatient and just uh, then he said, Well you can continue with the others as long as when we just still discussing. Then I said hmm Hold on, Dawn. No, I don't want you in the same squad as you know where I was. Kind of rivals on that. Let's not say that the, they all had, like, no, like Mars and the Austin said, had Mars, Austin, you know, had the goal to become medic, the Wizard King. As Mars uh, wouldn't have, like, a goal like that, who had this goal to protect and be with Austin as much as possible. That was his go lame as gold. As now they just start like go back now no go back what I'm saying. As they just walk there and then they will say us to say we probably should decide now. As they would say hmm, we should go in. Yeah, that's what. That's good, definitely that's good. As they say, we have chosen our squad. We chose the... Uh, oh fuck, I don't remember what squad I wanted them to choose, but... Uh, they will choose the... Crimson Lion Kings. Yep, he will say, we want to join the Crimson Lion Kings. Everyone will say, agree to the say, well, one of them is Fire American on that, but... As then we're there, remember that. But why did the other guy go to the Silver Eagles? Because the leader, the captain, has Mercury Medic as well. Then Nosal will ask, So, hey, Asta, was it? Uh, Asta said, Yes, sir. So, what is up with the Mercury Magic? It looks different. I said, Well, it's called Platinum Mercury Magic. So, Platinum Mercury Magic is. Wait, Platinum is not, uh, like a really rare metal and it's kind of like a jewel thing, like. Yeah, it's like a, no I don't know what to call it, like in English, but it's, you know, I think it's called like a noble metal or something. You know, how like a ruby and all that is treated like a, a rare stone, gemstones and all that. It's kind of like the same thing for platinum, if you know that already. He said, okay. Then I said, well, was it anything else? He said, no. Then he sat down back and said, oh, well, it looks like we're on the Crimson Lion Kings. I said, yep. It looks like I got adventure with training with the medic. I said, well, at least I get to be 
this we get into a good squad and then choose the black balls as they said at top class and at least we didn't join the end up with the black balls yeah what here say yeah what here's kind of pissed to say hey be grateful i raised you too for eight years i said raise us you try to taught us to destroy things you're a terrible dad as the careful we realized it said yep if he someone's gonna have be a terrible dad it a per terrible parent, it must be Jami. As then, um, uh, there was the end of the day, you know, on Mars and you asked her to say bye to Yuna. They would meet up with, with Figolion. He would ask them to if they had a broom already. Ast said, Well, yes. As he creates a Mercury broom. No, he would say, Why so? Said, well, you gotta fly there. Asked that. No, we don't have a broom. Is then with this, like, say, hey, do you have spare brooms for the new recruits? As then, um, uh, let's see that the vice captain of the new recruits, in my case, was there. Said, yeah, here. As they gave Mars and asked us one each broom each. As they said, thank you, sir. He said, no problem. As then we fly to the base, as they would just see us and the Mars, as they looked similar, as then the girl said, So, are you twins or something? As they said, No, we are really brothers. He is my older, he's two years older than me. Then, uh, he would ask, Why didn't you join two years earlier? I heard seeing you there, I just remember you seeing your face, as he would say to Mars. Mars would just say, Well, it's us, but I don't want to leave him alone. I want to join the same squad as him. So we had to discuss it together, so I waited two years until he could join. Morse said, okay, as Bagon said, okay. So then it's walked into a hideout as everyone is seated. Bagon was back and so they could say, oh, hi Bagon, any new recruits? He said, yes, two, excellent. He said, cool, what medic did they have? As Bagon said, you mean what magic? They both had. It's like, what do you mean? It's like they, as Austin and Marcel said, well, we have two magics. I have fire and the uh, mineral magic. As he, I have mineral and fire magic. And Austin said, I have mineral and mercury, platinum, mercury magic. So they, wow, so you're born with, but how did it get to? I said, well, as far as we know, we were born with it. As well as these crystals. As they saw all the crystals, they went constant confusion later. So like, okay. Then they ask, then uh, the leaf what would ask us about. Wait, did you say the thought of the Mercury Medic? I said, yes. I never heard of that before. I said, say, well, I guess it's pretty rare. It's different, it's had an old current compared to Nostal's Mercury Medic, as, at least that's what he said. As for Gunn said, well, that's cool. You have a different coloring. You have like a bluish color of it. You have like a platinum, a platinum color. Maybe that's why they name us. Figon said, yeah, that's probably it. As now as uh, they will get their robes and the golden will personally show them around. As they will be like, okay. And then they will get their rooms next to each other. As uh, some of the girls would actually laugh, kind of sniff their uh, laugh about a little bit of the Chris May Kings as when they saw Austin Mars. As they will be like, huh, why do they think so? As Figolin said, well, that's not the normal fit there. It's, I think they're having crashes on me as he whispered that to the as uh, also that Mars would bring turn bright to it said shh as they would cover their face with the mer their mineral magic to no one to see to say shut it big captain shut it already as the girls would see this but they would see they would thought that what why did they had the face and magic maybe they were red in the face they were I was gonna say as if you gonna just kinda discreetly as whisper to them that they had a they like you. That's it. He'll also say, oh, damn it. Already the people that wants us. God damn it, you're famous. That's for going to say, <laughs> you're famous or not, I don't know what to call it. Then uh, there was this dinner time, the girls would just kind of look at us and the Mars all the time. As us the Mars would notice this and they would just 
turned on the fact sometimes. They just lock up till there's an Oscar then he was. Uh, no, they lock up after they eat us. They, it's, it was like a beef and steak and like good food like that. As now I say, I gotta come up with some names for it as. Yeah, they gotta come up with some names. Hold on. As yes, after her eight, they just walked her girls and asked what the name was, and it was two girls actually that just I had a car on them already. They said, Oh, my name is Celine, and then they, and the other girl said, My name is Lily. We then say, So, what type of smell do you have? As they asked of curio out of curiosity, they said, Well, we have actually. We have a fire magic, both of us. No, I have fire magic and then the other side, well, I have wind. Uh, I have actually fire magic as well. So, oh, cool. No, one would have actually have mercury magic. As they both had crushes on both of the Mars. So I say, oh, cool. So how old are you? They said, oh, we're 16. So you're one year older than me, cool. So yes, then we kind of blush and all that. Us to like, oh. As if I realized that's so kind of Mars and us to just blush to us. They was looked away and say, "Should not be here." As they kind of walked away, silly. As the girls Lily and Lena was sat to each other, like, seems like they got some crushes on us too, huh? And she would say, "Yes." <laughs> They kind of laugh about this a little bit quietly, but we couldn't even notice this, but he wanted to say anything to make us then the, um, more, be more embarrassed. And face it, they, no one else would have crushes on us than Mars. Maybe Musa, but not, no, she won't. Because I won't make a harem around them at all. I made it in the Dark Light video, it wasn't so great. And now, yeah. Um. Uh, next day, we go and show them around exactly uh, uh, everywhere because they had missed some spots. They would see the lions. Also, wait, so you have lions here as well? I said yes. We have. Okay. Then asked where the silly Lynn and Lele. Here, bread at the face would turn around. A smart would say. What's wrong? I'll oh, turn to see the girls again. The still turn around and be red and face it. Uh oh, let's start to see them at all. As they create their mask again, like mineral mask, say, Oh, hi. I start to see. Say, Oh, hi, hello. Why do they have masks there As, on their face? As, they say, Uh, it's nothing, really. As for Golden, would know what it was here, they didn't tell the girls. Guess he knew that the girls already figured it out already. As the girls were just that, so they also want to they want to hide her, huh? They said they want to admit that the first girl they saw here got the crush, got stole their hearts, huh? As the when they were gone, Austin and Mars would just take away their mask as their red in their face would sl st slowly start to disappear. If you go and say, well, if you ever wants to move forward, you have to admit your feelings. It was one, one day. Austin must say, it's not like that, it's not like that at all. I still would kind of be act like no, but then we'll realize, admit say, fine, admit it, we have feelings for them. If you're gonna say, well, that's okay, I, if you want help from me, I can help you one day. I say, no, it's our problem, not yours. If you're gonna say, okay, fine, fine. It's now, uh, it will be like two days later. Last then, if we go, Mars would just be out training in like the like, they had a training section, let's say that. As they were training the physical bodies and lot, Lily and Lane would see the seeds, so the muscles, but the, all the muscles on them. If you go and you see the muscles as well, say, whoa, they are really strong, not just in magic, but in physical body as well. Also, the Mars would notice them, but try to focus on their training, as they didn't get red at all. As they couldn't see anything that they were 
Johnny Red because of their they saw the girls again, but they were all red in the face because they did the push ups and all that. Everything so they get red of sweat and all that, then it was the shower and all that, then they just come out and say Nice training says on Mars, bro, big bro. Us big bro said Asta then Mars said Well nice of you too, huh? I said yeah. Then we see the girl said, Oh god, I think we have to admit it now, huh? So I said, yes, let's for Goldie on the say, or just leave the place, because I knew that they wanted to cry now. As they was walked up, and let's say that Lily had the fire magic, no, uh, Lily had the, um, fire magic, as she would be attracted to mostly Mars, and Lynn would have Mercury magic. Yes. As, uh, now they walked up to say, uh, can we talk to you for a minute? I still saw Lily and Lynn around there as they say, uh, yeah, sure. Then Oswald Mars would kind of like stumble with the words, say, I, uh, uh, I, I had to admit that I, I, then he say, do, do you want to go, go be my go, 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 and, and, as they would both stumble like that and they would ask, as Oswald would have asked Lynn about that. No, let's say that Lane had fire magic and uh, No, I uh, no. No, Lane would have Mercury magic, she would be attracted to Asta most as they would ask which Lily Lily would no M Morse would ask Lily out and Asta would ask Lynn out as they say bear in the face uh, 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 yes and so say Phew Smorse to start the kinda Relieving me. So I'm too just like, now we get that over with. Instead of say, then we walk up there and kiss them on the cheek and say, We love you too. As I said, we, we, as he was about to say, we know, don't always get right around right the face because the screen's like, ah, I got, I got that. As more said, kind of act, kind of the same, but a little bit more mature. As if Goli was to say, whoa, they moved forward quickly. As <laughs> Leopold is saying, oh, what are you spying on, big bro? Then you saw the Asta and the Mars with the Lily and Lynn say, whoa, wait, those two moved forward quickly, right? I was only like a cup, a max of almost uh, just uh, half a week since they joined. As Mars as Finland said, yep, I know. Yeah, let's just leave them alone as he grabbed uh, Leopold and just walked away. Then Asta is still ready to face and then he has. Grab Lynn and say, and kiss her back. See, as they would kiss now, as Mars do the same with Lily, as all that, and they'll say, hmm, it'd be surprised and be brighter at the face. Say, okay, that's then they just walked away now. As uh, they just left Lynn and Lily there alone, as Austin and Mars would just talk about the the red in the face would disappear. So Austin, Phew. now we have that out of way and all that, and so Mars said, yes. I said, well, I want to move room so I'm not next to you anymore. Mars said, I was about to ask the same thing. As they came to Fagolda and asked for a new room so they could be like separate, not next to each other anymore. Fagolda would ask why, as they said, well... Uh, as they can't be around if they say, it's a secret. Can you please... As they, no, Fagolda would know why. So said, okay, sure. As I showed them to uh, their new, new rooms, where which was had a pretty good distance between them. All that, as then, um, he said, oh yeah, and next to your Asta is Lynn's room, and next to your Mars is Lily's. As the big bright red said, you knew you little as the girl said, of course I knew. About it, so say, Asta said, oh well, guess it's fine then. As they would just walk out now for a new training session. And they would just go out and eat as Lily and... And Lynn uh, was sitting next to them all that said, talk to each other as they said. Yeah, as then I said, so what do you want to do? Uh, he asked Lynn and said, said, oh, I don't know. And I said, what about going up date? What do you think about that? She said, what? I said, I said, well, since we, since we are a couple, we should go on a date. I said, okay, sure. 
So, uh, where do you want to go? Uh, a restaurant maybe? You can pick uh, not know any restaurant. I was raised by the Yami. Actually, so yeah, I don't know anything about it. Any good place to eat. So, oh. Then she thought that Asta was like a person, but she realized that he was actually pretty nice. And calm guy. Like the opposite of Yami. As as I say, okay, so we go. As she has to uh, take it, hold her hand for sure. I said, okay, as they hold the hands and walk away. Then I'll stay with more said, good luck with a with a girl. I said, so more said, you know, why do you leave me here? I'll go with her. I said, you'll say, so, did you move on pretty quickly? As more said, yeah, I guess you did. As you get the red in the face, as later we all stand, as you, they were both, both about to scream. As the crystal ever noticed that, whoa, 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 the new records were full of the latest wave quakes, the real smooth, huh? As they decided to congratulate them later. As, um, I don't know why I moved it, so I'm going to go with crushes on both of them, I just want to get out of the way. So that I won't make too much noise about it and all that in the later what ifs, what is. As now, um, Austin Lily would, you know, just, no, Austin Lynn would go on a date and be careful on a restaurant and all that, just to have a nice day and all of this. Austin did stand by, let's say that Austin had some cash that he got from Yami each month as the part of his pay and all that, and, and some of the black was reserves. Mars would have that too, Austin would just bought her chocolate and flowers to her and say, there you go. As now, before they went on the date, Austin just had other boss chocolate and so as he went away to bought it and flowers as she rose. I just gave her that and kissed her on the cheek and said, Here you go. She would be ready to say, Thank you. As then she just left it in her room. Then when she realized that it was next for Austin's room. She said, What? I said, Oh yeah, we asked for new rooms and that golden pulled that stopped on us. Somebody right there and said, So he yes, I think everyone knows about it right now. As everyone did, because someone couldn't keep their mouth shut, and guess what? It was Figolion and Leopold. They both couldn't keep their mouth shut. Austin thought that I'm gonna kick their asses later on. Most thought the same thing, but okay, I, I noticed that everyone knows that looks at us here. So I'm gonna kick that captain's or uh, Leopold's, at least Leopold's butt next time. I see him. As now, um, yeah, we switch back to Lynn and uh, Asta going on a date. They went to the restaurant and a fun time laughing at. So, as for a night, they just crossed their arms and just walked to step to the hideout. As everyone was seated, and they said, Eh, look, let's just not bother them. As they were walking outside, they were walking into another way to get easier to their rooms. As they were kind of like romantic, somehow uh, romantic look out on their face, hide out as no one would notice this at all. As, uh, yeah, they just went back to her room. When they closed the doors, they say that went into Austin's room that night. As some people would notice this and they spread the rooms really quickly. I say, what? They went to the same as we're going to be like, whoa, 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 I, I kind of need to slow him down there. He moves on too fast. Then there was here some laughing from Austin's room and all that. Then it was quiet for a while, then Austin see I uh, don't hear Austin uh, Lynn laugh again. So okay. She goes size say, tell us to move on that quickly. And Steph uh, you, said, wait, where did you have your dirty money going on? As Fugger said, What I still said, fine, I expose I exposed myself. As for Morse and Lily, they'll be more quietly. As Mars would be the romantic type, but all as as Asta was him more like the more quiet type as so as that was kind of like what attracted Lily to him. As they went on a walk, strolled in the capital, up the hill by her flowers and a little bit chocolate at it. So while they were walking, they walked home. They just entered their room now. As they said, wait, they are back now too. As I went into Lily's room, not Mars' room, because I need to change a little bit so often the, uh, 
most less more on two cut like have the same similarities with their relationship. As for uh, um how should I say this? Uh, oh I don't know how to tell everyone to uh, explain everything but yeah, uh... Stuffy go to some the time to like sleep and all that as they were went to bed as they still heard Asta and Lily la Lynn left as they had Mars and Li Lily started laughing a little bit as they decided to go all go to bed next morning they wonder where Austin the uh, Austin and Mars was it was Respectively, where Austin Lynn was, respectively, Mars and Lily was. Then they, Austin Lynn, was, then Mars and Lily was woke up, just kind of tired. I still have to go closer, real close now. I still uh, kind of ha have the arm around each other and all that. I still, well, they moved on quickly. I still saw how tired Mars and Lily, wa Lily was. The, well, they're tired as hell. Still, I said, that was actually a fun night, as Mars said. It's, I, yeah, it definitely was. They were wondering, what does he mean? Do you think that us, as then said, it was definitely fun doing that, talking about all the, everything about our families and all that? I said, yeah. Yeah, it really was, yeah, actually. And then, uh, um, an hour, two hour, one hour and a half hour later, Ast and uh, Lynn West walk up, walk down. I still look, kind of, still look kind of tired as well. But not really tired. As they just, um, should I say, I'd say they just a lot. They, um, ate breakfast and all that, they didn't talk much. As everyone would see to say, whoa, why is it quiet land? So. Then was Oswald kind of woke up when he drank. Let's say that Austin Lynn just woke up, drank coffee and just they, they was just wake up. And they were they're not talk they're really fast to chat and all that. As, but, when, but when they actually look look more like uh, awake and what as Mars and Lynn would do, they would see how close and they're uh, going the ice to each other. Or so they say, "Whoa, they fall a deep love already. Whoa, this is moving on too quickly for me." As uh, Leopold be kind of yells about, how, how did they get the girl so quickly? If you go to the hill say, hey, if you want girls, you have to admit it to your feelings for someone. And some girl would actually have to stand out for you as well. As F F Leopold say, and what is that supposed to mean? As we go say, exactly as it, what it sounds like. Someone has to deal with you. As Leopold said, hey, oh yeah. Then I forgot to walk up there and say, hey, I started to go get a letter. I said, oh shit, this is bad news. Then I said to Morris and Austin. As uh, the corner said, hey, Austin and uh, Mars get a new mission, uh, emergency mission, said, emergency backup at Saucy Village. I said, wait, Saucy Village, that's not so far from the Blackbirds hideout. So I said, yes, the Blackbirds did back up there. Okay, why? They're attacked by some. They were, apparently, when they watched the hunting birds on an unofficial mission, they really just got attacked by some weird people. I said, okay, what do you mean by weird people? He said, well, people that are weird, of course. I said, that doesn't help a, a thing, you know that? He said, well, it, that doesn't matter now, you need to help them immediately. I said, okay, let's go. Then I said, well, what about the girl? I said, well, you can take the, no, if you're gonna say that, you can take the girls with you. I said, okay. Um, 
officers and now us just took the rooms and just flew there immediately. Because they knew what her place was. Us Lily and the Lynn was say wait as there was us Austin and Mars would have grabbed them and said, Come here and they said, What is going on? Us us said, Well, we want to take you on our first mission of course. They were like, Okay. As they had gone on a couple of missions so I still thought that maybe they wanted us to be there on the first mission as well. Maybe. And so now uh, Asta and uh, and Morse just arrived here. As yeah, what should I say now? Um, do us walk there to see this and say that the mag, the wait, it's magnet. He needs help and then see that another girl said. Hmm, so she must have a new record for this year. Huh? Yeah, uh, and yeah, that's weird. I never saw her on the uh, Antrix and then Lily and Lynn said, Oh, she's a Silva apparently. What does them say? What is a Silva doing in Black Woods? Then say, Oh, it's not. Huh. Okay. So they would ask them, they would ask, So, how do you know her? Oh, she's from the royal family. Silva. Wait, so she's uh, Nusal's sil sister or something? They said, Yes, she is actually. They say, Okay. Um, yeah, as now they just walk down and say, okay, so who wants the beating? As they saw the midget attacking them and say, okay, th so those are the ones that they want to get their ass kicked. As the ice midget say, huh, reinforcement, huh? Well, that doesn't matter. You'd still take my time. I said, Asta then say, take your time, you're the one attacking medic of innocent village. So what's your motive here? Then to Mitch will say, Why does that matter to you? I said, Because it does. Your problem? I said, Yes, you're wasting my time. I said, Could manage to say, Okay, you are the super ass kicking from me. Then I said, Oh, I'm so honored by getting at my ass kicked by a filthy medic knight. I said, huh? What do you call filthy? You're the one attacking innocent villages, villagers. For absolutely no reason. As the Iceman say, oh, yeah, you're wasting my time. I send the salt hold the others to kill them already. Let's say that the saucy village chief was died. I said, damn it. I said, damn it. Yeah, and then, um... I don't know how to explain it all. Damn it. Well, Austin and uh, Marcel, damn it, so I stood... A village ship would just die immediately when they got there. Damn it, we didn't make it in time. As they decided, I said, crap, we failed the medic nights, huh? Then I said, well, we, at least we can get the other ones responsible for this. As they did that, they said, you are going to pay for what they did to kill that uh, innocent person. As the leader said, the innocent person matter. I'm wasting my time. I gotta get the back. As before he could actually he would actually the ice like the detonation thing would activate. Said so, damn time is up huh already As I said what does it mean? Then you saw that the ice was engulfed uh, 
all the four members to post there as one just escaped. As yes, as in canon, I sort of say, but how can this throw their life away like that? So I said, I don't know, I can't understand. And then the village, as then um, the chief was a uh, grandson. We asked to see the as asked for to see the grab stone, magic stone there. As says Peter up said, what is this? Then uh, the grand chief side, uh, grandchild of the chief would say, oh, that's grandpa's lucky charm. I said, also, okay, here, here you go. I said, no, you can keep it as a payment for saving our village. Also said, oh, I thank you. As, what the hell happened? What the, what the? Does my cable have touched something? I swear that I touched the screen with my fingers. It seems, it seems like my cable has actually some touch in it. Yeah, yeah, no matter what. Got, yeah, my uh, headphones cable is actually on the. Is uh, on touching the my phone screen. Yes, I said, why thank you. I stand there, went back to base, turned the report, said. I couldn't say if they were over the street, but at least we don't know what the guys meant, but the guys just left. Asta went back to the base as he was like, well, at least good job on saving the villagers. I said, it's okay, really, it's nothing. As Lena and Lilo said, well, it's a good job on the first mission. I said, do you really think so? As he kind of blushed when Lynn said that, as th then um, uh, Lily would say the same thing to Mars as that, as Mars said, thank you. As then was, there was kiss, they were each other on the cheek. As the other words case also on the cheek, he will get bright red, so ah, freak, kind of half freak out on that. Yeah, what the? Yeah, sorry for that, I just saw something. Okay, that was it. I'm playing a game on my PC while I'm recording this and I'm talking. So, yes. As now, um, they will take some days as Austin and Lynn will spend some more time to each other while they're returning all that. As Lily and Lynn was watched while they were training and saw the muscles on that. Whoa, they got some big muscles. As uh, Morrison asked but no that they were watching because they said that you can watch a train now and all that. Since we are all together. Like, yeah, sure, why us to agree to say yeah, why not?
sorry for that, I, uh, that I haven't talked there, let's focus on something else. But yeah, as now, um, as I said about training, uh, Lynn and Lily was watching all that. Yeah, this will be ending, no, yeah. As they were talking to each other while they were training, and then they finished and Gona said, well, we got a new mission for you kids. For you, Austin Mars. Oh yeah, Lynn, uh, Lynn you will go uh, on that too. As Gona said, as, uh, when Whiskey asked for Mars and uh, uh, Asta, Finnerl, as Figon said, well, they already got some girlfriends, so can I send them too? As Whiskey said, Mr. Press said, well, they already got that, that said, yes, you can send them. Then the girl, then the boys probably will get the more motivated to finish the job quickly. And then he'll say, oh yeah, I'm sending to Golden Dawn too. I said, okay. As for this, the, the Black Bulls won't be sent. And the Daniel, it will be the Crystal Lane Kings and the Golden Dawn. As now, Austin, no, okay, so we have a final Daniel, huh? It's near the time we can board. say, okay, time to move then, I said. If you're gonna say, oh yeah, there will be Golden Dawn members there as well. I said, but Asta and the Mars would just look at each other and say, hey, they probably sent him. I said, we're gonna knew who they thought of and say, yeah, they probably did send him there. As, um, Lynn and Lily didn't know who they were talking about, then Asta and the, uh, Mars would say, well, our, my, I said, or our adopted brother. He's kind of cold and all that. It's, he would still have that. Now he will actually have that cold personality. He said, like, okay, well, we just don't care about another boy. We just care about you. Because they just did care about them because of their medic and all that, kind of, and how they looked and all that. So, yeah. As they went to the dungeon now. And in fact, Mars won't be able to be there to destroy anything, so it will be another mage. No, it won't be an admit, it will be as the Diamond Soldiers. As they were trying to conquer the Dunning before the Cloud Kingdom Mages arrived, but they didn't. As, uh, yeah, I didn't run away to fight the smoke guy, they just ran towards the treasure hall, got all the treasure. Boring blah blah blah, you, as they then we see the Golden Dawn beater and say, oh, it's hi, you know. Say, oh, hi, Asta. Then he would just look at Mars and say, oh, hi, Mars, too. Then I saw the girl said, oh wait, so who are they? I said, oh, meet my girlfriend, She's, her name is Pin, and Mars said, oh, this is my girlfriend, her name is uh, uh, Lily. I stand over see uh, Mimosa, I said, oh, so is that your, as, as uh, you must be ready say, no, she's, she's not. Let's say Mimosa gets feeling for, uh, you know, in this what if. She will uh, she will want to say, uh, oh, I, I am, but she didn't say anything. At all, as he, yeah, uh, Oscar said, well, it seems like she wants, as he looked at Mars said, as they both knew that she wants him. But the, uh, you know, actually would have feelings for her, but he wouldn't uh, want to admit them. He's at uh, the most tundere at all here. I say, oh, well, let's get, just get a treasure. Before the diamond matches get it, as they ordered here, but as Kurt said, what, huh? I said, well, we already sensed that when we got in here and we will just leave them at home. They won't be able to get their threshold before us. Oh, actually, let's say that they came there just to try to oppose them, but Austin Moss would have sensed this and used their minor magic and just knocked the all mages out, even the hermit smoke, the smoke guy. As explosive for the smoke guy, they just, like, used their uh, Asta uses mineral magic to lock his grammar away in mineral magic and then uh, the Mars would use his mineral magic to just seal him so he wouldn't be able to move. As for the other guys, uh, they did the same. Not seal them away and all that, so yeah. As then Asta Mars did a combo with uh, a mineral magic move and broke the door. So as they entered the dungeon. Uh, so yeah. As now in the treasure hall, you know still get the wind spirit. As for Mars, he won't get anything. So, hashtag 
rest it, it will, you will get something one day Mars. We hope so. We pray, pray hashtag pray for Mars. And then, uh, Asta though we say, still says that thing in the room as he said as Limra see that Asta had looked at the room said the door said what is it Asta said I don't know but it's something that's calling me there as he opens the door a lot as he then he sees a scroll let's say that no actually Mars would get something as well he will get to call to the opposite side of the room of the treasure room as they were open two small doors as for Asta he will get the uh like um the mineral of like they will take it a combo magic you know, spirit as it will be for Asta it will be the mercury mineral magic as well no he will get the platinum spirit For more, so you'll get the diamond spirit. As they are both kind of combinations between the name, the magic as instead of just calling them the mineral uh, mercury magic spirit, it will be like them, just the um, platinum spirit. No, as it, Morse would have actually have like the fire crystal spirit, uh, yeah, it's called that. As for all star, let's just call it instead of the platinum spirit, let's just call it the. the Crystal Mercury. Mercury Crystal Magic, yeah. Mercury Crystal Magic, yes. Crystal Spirit. As instead of mineral, they would be called crystal spirits. As they would be the twin duo of the spirit, they would be the twin crystal spirits. As Asta was walk out with, with a little, kind of like a lion, actually. They would be both would be lion spirits. As they sit on Asta's shoulder, a lot as Lin would sit and say, "Oh, she, he's kind of cute." I said, "Yeah, he is." As both of them would be he. As for the names, um, uh, let's say that for Astas, no, for Mars, he will name it, uh, uh, what should we call him? Leo, no, the scar. No, I don't know what to call them actually. They won't have a name yet, I will figure out the name later on. I see they will walk out of the room and then we see Morse and uh, Lily walk out of the opposite side of the room and uh, the first room as they would see that they had a lion as well. Morse would see the at the last that lion as well and said, what the, I said, what the hell? Hey, your, your group kind of like mine, as they both be crystallized but they will have different colors. As they would kind of crystallized but they will kind of be motion as they want to have like crystal specs and all that they won't be able to be see through at all i said wait what how i said uh, how how is this then he, he, they looked at the spirit and said how i said oh i want to i want to guess i want to oh so looks like we got shows a twin like brothers uh, this time to bro 
brother as uh, said wait your brothers is said yes we're the twin crystal brothers or as some people call us actually we're the Chris twin cri crystal twins so whoa a lily and lily would be happy for both of them say wow that's so cool as he also said yeah it is as then uh as then uh, and then so say wow we're actually you're actually the first ones to show us because no one else is born with double magic no one else has had the, these specific magic types together also, so wait so we are like the only ones that you uh, can ever get you I said yes you both you need like both otherwise chris mineral and fire magic or mineral and mercury platinum mercury magic i said wait so my magic is even more special than his he said yes it's even more rare that someone with your magic would could do this but they will have platinum mineral uh, mercury magic as if this the state of requirement here as we can both only be chosen both at the same time so if one is born we won't be able to be chosen i said whoa guess me and my brother is lucky huh as then you would see to say hey i want a spare too as to the as then lion said well you have one but you haven't awakened it yet as then as then most would say what as then who is the lion spirit would say well since we are so wise and art we had so much time since no more searching by us we have done research on all the other spirits Apparently there are some the four great spirits that often shows it to someone and so, in some rare cases there are some others like other spirits. Asta would be like, okay, so you are right, the rarest ones? As he said, yes we are. I said, cool. You know, said, so wait, so I'm chosen by the great wind spirit or something? They said, yes you are. Check that new spell you got. As you know, last holding the scroll said, there is. So wait, the text disappeared. As then I said, it then it disappeared. It transferred right into your grimoire. They were like, what? As you know, said, what? They said, yes, it did. As then you looked and said, wait, it is here. Oh. So when will I wake into the spirit? Say, when you need to. It's just okay. So when I need to, I will unlock this beard, huh? Okay, I just kind of don't uh, get it, but at the same time I do. So, okay, thanks. I started all the walked out with trust on everything they got and they just leave. Uh, for the diamond mages, when they got out of the den and got all the treasure away, all the more just let them go. As the den started collapsing. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah, the, as now Austin Mars will just walk, let's say, bite you know, and the uh, moose and clouds. As Austin and the Mars will just look at him and say, You gotta tell her sometime. As this what took Mars on the side, said, No, they was Mars and Austin took up you know on the side when they were to leave and say, You gotta admit her your thing sometime, you know. And they're like, what? I said, yes, it took some, it may took some days before we admit our offense for those two. As they, let's say that Lily and Lynn would have uh, had the same talk to Mosa. I bought her, that we have feelings for you now. Or not, as she said, oh, what? I said, yes, it took, may took some days before we, they, the boys actually, they were, until we admitted our feelings for them. Accepted our feelings as well. But it was worth it when we did. Because it appeared that they had some things. And, and then they looked at the. Um, then Lily and Lynn would know, knew that Austin and uh, Mars would have the same time to Juno. As Juno said, okay, guess I'll do it some, some other time. Juno as Austin and Mars said, good, you know. I think you deserve this. I said, um, say, what? I said, you deserve someone. To. I said, thank you. 
guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank us too. Don't thank us too much, though, because then it would be awkward. I'm saying, okay. Yes, then they went back to their base with the lions there, say. So. Okay, so then they went to see Figol and Figol and the lions, say. Lions on the shoulder, say. And who are they? I see. Us, let's say, uh, how about that? I scratch his head. I don't know how to explain it. Then the both line spirits will just tell him, like, we are the great crystal twin spirit. Twin crystal, crystal twin spirits. You, if you're gonna say, what? You're the what now? We are the great crystal twin spirits. Uh, and we are very rare. Ex the rare, ex in fact, the rare spirits of all. We only chose the spirit. We can only be chosen by someone when. We can only choose spirits, a, per a person to be, to for us to join their forces when both of them had to be brothers and they had to have the exact same medic as these two young boys have. Since they are the first ones to ever get chosen and we have existed since existence. So it's like, let's say that they have existed for like 10,000 years. It's like they are the first one in 10,000 years to be chosen. It's like 10,000 years? I said, yes, the world has. The medic with the spirits and all that have existed for 10,000 years. As we were the first, last ones to not get chosen. As or during the time as we were not chosen, we studied. And found out everything about it. Us then said, so we're really happy to finally get chosen. I said, I'm really happy to get a lion on my shoulder as well. Well, well, it looks like we chose the right squad as well. As the, as Mars and the... And Asta, if you go to smile at the smirk they say, Yep, we def you definitely chose the right squad here, said Figon, as they would say. So, as Lion said, what, So what's the name of this squad? I said, The Curse of Lion Kings, as Lion said, smirk say, Oh, really? We guess we gotta add that to our requirements as well. <laughs> Asta said, I don't think you take it a little bit too far now. I said, Then Austin was say, Nah, they probably doesn't really. If in, in case they they might even end up in the like the Silver Eagles one day, that's not what be good. As Leonpold, Leon say, if you gotta say, well, yeah, we don't want to end up end up there, huh? As they were ask what they were as if you gotta say, well, it's my rival squad. I said, oh yeah, Silver Eagles, we hate those. Do what do you mean? I said, well, there's a spirit that's an eagle. We are kind of hate him, and his little brother. Spoiler alert that, that might be off another what if I will make where they get the pasta and uh, someone else gets the eagle spirit and you're the silver eagles. But yes, that might happen sometime. Yes, and uh, what, how should we say? I don't know what to say even more now, since we covered the dungeon work on that, so... Since I don't want to cover the story too fast, I will wait like until episode 2 to cover the report. Or late in this episode, if this episode got like over 2 hours long maybe. Uh, or the talk for like 1 hour and 40 minutes, so... If I can make it out, milk it out to like 2 hours at least, 2 hours and 20 minutes. In the 2 hours and 10 or 15 minutes before. Yeah, let's do that. I will create some custom missions for Austin and Mars. As now, the next uh, two days later after, no, one day later when Austin woke up, Lane would have snuck on it uh, with all the going on to his bed and sat down waiting and actually petting the lion. Austin was woke up, oh, how dare you, Lane? As he woke up and pissed her, so Lynn, the lion said, oh. So she has a female, huh? I said, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you call it in the spirit world, but let's say she's my girlfriend in the human world. I said, oh, we call it the same accident in the spirit world. I said, so do you have one? He said, no. It's like, no, spirit doesn't have that anymore. We were forbidden because there were too many spirits before, so yeah. I said, oh, so then I asked her, ask, so what do you mean too many spirits? Well, there were it was some time where we all had like the other spirits with our girlfriends and all that, but 
the lion lion of spirits would actually have been killed by some other mages so we weren't able to mate i said so wait so you need the same species of yourself to mate is it yes as for all the spirits they mated enough so the spirit god or the rule of the spirit world had to kind of kill some had to erase those spirits like and said that you are not allowed to beat us he made us all sterile so we won't be able to make babies so oh I didn't know, sorry about that, I said, no, it's okay, we really don't mind it since we're immortals, kind of, so yeah, let's uh, switch back to Juno and Mimosa Golden Dawn, um, yeah, the one, two days after they got back, as uh, Juno was about to ask uh, Mimosa to can, kind of come down the side, the Golden Dawn members would notice this and they were thought, what is now? Klaus would just leave them alone because he kind of overheard what Asta and Asta was and Mars was saying to you know, like oh, so he's about to ask her out, huh? As we was about to ask him to the same, but then you know say, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, I kind of. Then she just straight up kisses him, and say, I uh, I do this, I have the same. As she would know that uh, he had feelings for. She would know that he had feelings for her. So I have the same. I should be like, what? I should be red in the face. Everyone at the Golden Dawn will notice this, but just leave them alone. I suppose I would stop kissing and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I you know, said, it's okay. I was standing here. I grabbed her and said, it's okay. I said, kissed her back and watched as they like, couple. No. Yes, everyone would have a couple now. Kind of like the three main characters in the story will have couples. As for the anti magic, there won't be any anti magic in this story. And um, Asta will still be like, able to. will still be the, prote uh, like the protagonist, I think its name is. Yeah, its protagonist, as in now, he will be like. If, because anti magic won't be needed in this story. As for. yeah, as now we switch back to Asta and Leon. And the brothers asked us calling and then she grabbed her and said, Hey, come with God with me, as he has hugged her and all that. Lion Spirit was jumped down and said, and asked, let's say that Asta made a bed for it. I said, thank you for the bed, Asta. I said, There's no problem. Let's say that the, when the lion is fully grown, it will be like a big as lion. I said, so do you have the same stages as the other spirits as you will grow sometimes? I said, yes. I said, so let me guess, when you're fully grown, you'll be as big as a normal lion? The, lion is the flame spirit said, yes, actually, I might be, I will be bigger, but I will want to restrain myself to a uh, lower, like a minimal form. Even, I will be able to use the same power. I can just change my size. He said, oh, really? I said, yes, so... Let's say that I let's say that I have grown my false form, as so I will be pretty big as I will be big, big, big as the false flame spirit. No, he won't as uh, he won't actually. Uh, he will be big as a lion, but he said, "Well, I can stay in this form. Oh, I need to when I get grow, I need to change to that form first. Then I can just restrain myself to this form again, as I will still have the same power as the other, the newer form." I said, "Cool." Then also let's go back to calling with Lynn. They would have fun. As kinda of having comforting there. As for Mars and Lily, they would kinda of have the same talk to their uh, uh to uh, they would have kinda of have the same talk with uh, Mars' spirit. And that was, yeah, and, uh, oh god, I don't know what to say, I had to create some custom missions. Let's say that I got a mission, other mission now, as we got, when they walked down to eat breakfast, finally it was like midday. No, it was like 2 o'clock, as they had been awake for like, since 10 o'clock or something, so uh, 4 hours just, kind of, be comforting and have, having fun with each other and all that as they were swagged down, no? 
and they decided to eat breakfast as they would see like, oh, then we see the lion spirit say, oh, so that's the spirit if you go and talk about Asta, and Morse would say, yes, there is. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about, so I will actually be ending this part, no, I'm pausing this part actually. So I will put this together with another clip to make for the next mission all that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you know why I'm saying that, I'm just gonna pause this recording. As I said before, pause, I will create some new missions for them. As uh, there is a morning when Austin Lynn just walks down as Mars and Mirror was out of there, say, Oh, there you are, Asa. Oh, hi, Bar hi Mars. Hi, Lily. Said both Lily, uh, Lynn and Asta. Then said, then from there came, oh, there you are, we got a new mission for you. I said, oh cool, you done here or something? Said, nah, it's an, just a normal mission. I said, okay, cool. So where is it? Or what should we do now? What is the mission? Apparently it's hunting boars in uh, Sauce Village, Ostav said. Sauce Village, wasn't it there we was yes, before? Then uh, they didn't say, they have already forgot, yes, there, it was there. I said, oh, they were there, they got the magic stone. I must have got that. As Austin Morse would have said, oh yeah, there, that's the place on the stone. As they remember now, I think I said it before I paused the video again. But uh, yeah, they would have go there, they were sent to boar hunting as they met the, the like, uh, they would shift the grandchild again and say, Oh, it's you. So I said, Oh, hi. Hi there. I said, I said Oh, it's you, miss. As then I would see Mars. I said, Oh, hi. I said, Oh, hi. Then I said, So there's some boars now again? I said, Yes, they have been more ferocious and more dangerous. I said, Okay. As then Mars would have say, We should probably eradicate them quickly. And I said, Take care of them again. Take care of them. But then Ost said, wait. He said that the boars were se was here before as well. But what is it causing it? Ost Mars said, yeah. Actually, Mars and the Ost would say, let's just go and kill this. Uh, take care of these boars already. But then Leoli and Lin said, wait. If they, they, if they said it, uh, they were asked, they could have. They, wait, the boars, have they been here before? He said, yes. I said, then we'll say, hmm. Then just look at Arsten Morris and said, well, we need to find out the reason why they are here, they are attacking. I said, so, yeah, I guess you're right. So then he, Morris said, well, I'm gonna fend off the boars. Then I said, well, uh, are you gonna take care of the boars? And so meanwhile, I said, well, I guess I'll be the one to find the source of it. And then later, as Lin said, Well, I'm going with Asta. Later said, I'm staying here with the Morse protecting and helping him with the boars attacking. As now they will go there. Uh, this is kind of the same story if you have seen the uh, recently anime episodes and all that. As, um, yeah, oh. As you instead of Golden Dawn, being said that it's the Crimson Lion Kings. I have uh, used this as a filling a filling mission before they report back to the capital. But the uh, Danian, as Asta quickly finds the source of this with Lin's help, as to see that wait, that's a uh, some weird flower. As the lion, Asta's lion spirit will say, no, his uh, Mercury crystal the spirit will say. No, it seems that the flower is the cause of this, as they will see that the boars ate it and their flames turned from bright red to purple. I said, hmm, 
Austin said, said, hey, spirit, can you do something about those flowers? He said, yeah, sure, why not? I haven't run in a while. I haven't been able to run or something like that before, so yeah. I says, quickly take care of all the flower. I said, now it's just time to knock the boards out of it. I said, then just uh, use Mercury Magic to just knock, to knock them out. Well, that was then he went back to the others and just knocks them out as well. Smurf said, so did you find the source? I said, yes. And then Morse said, wait, there's boards behind you. But then I said, it's the, oh, it's fine. You yeah, look, they don't have any flames on the back anymore. I said, no, the boards would just go there and be, kind of be friends with the village. As the, the boy said, it's a long time since the boards were so friendly. I said, oh, so they were friendly from the beginning? He said, yes. I said, oh, okay. Well, guess we found the source of all, uh, all of it. <coughs> Morse said, yep. I said, so, how can we repay you, Austin? Uh, we don't need a payment at all. I said, okay. I said, Austin, Marcel said, bye. Uh, so let's see that uh, Lynn and Austin shared a broom, and Lily and Mars shared a broom, actually. So yeah, when they got back, they told everything that happened. I was gonna say, okay, good. And then I said, oh yeah, the Witch King wants you to report on the dungeon now. I said, okay. And then they just walk hand in hand. As Lynn and Asta, of course, will hold hands. Morse and Lily will hold hands, of course. As when they meet the Golden Dawn, they will see that uh, Juno and uh, Mimosa will hold hands. I said, so you finally did it, huh? And I said, sure it, of course, it was hard enough to explain at the time I said, well, it, since I was the one to make the first move on that, I said, oh, really? Well, I uh, guess uh, we was quicker to explain everything. As uh, Lynn and Lena was kind of left, I said, yeah, but we still made the first move like that. I said, I guess the girls got some big moves to now, huh? As you said, oh, I guess it's fair enough between all of us now. I said, yep, with all our spirits and all that, as Austin said, say, oh, yes, yeah, sorry about that, you know, but your spirit hasn't awakened yet. You know, said, okay, that's the only thing that's not fair between us, like, but still, that's, I still have got, will have a spirit awakening. I said, yes, but our spirits are the rarest ones, so ha. You know, said, you're just lucky, you bastards. At least I will get the great wind spirit. I said, well, our, our spirits can use some double magic. Ha ha. As then, yeah, as now they walk there as we the wizard king. Austin Morse would just bow down as well. As the flames would say, oh, the wizard king, huh? As they just kind of bow their heads down from Austin Juno's shoulders. No, Austin Morse's shoulders. As the, as the wish can you see the spirits, I say, what are the spirits? I say, we get the geek for I say, what are the spirits? Oh, so cool. They look like girls. And the, uh, 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 asked the what to say, I say, uh, yeah, as the first person say, is it always like that? Class would say, well, guess the rumors of the wish king being a magic geek is true. And then the wish king would say, wait, is it true that you have two types of magic? As he would ask Austin and Mars this. And I said, yes, we were born with two types of magic. I said, oh, okay. Then I said, but how did you get the spirits? I said, well, we got them in the dungeon. I said, the, the whisker said, interesting. And who are they? I said, they said, they, the lions now would talk to themselves and say, we are the crystal twin lion spirits. I said, whoa, cool. I said, we'll explain everything about their story. I said, they are the absolute rarest spirits. And then... Uh, you know to show his spell and say that this is the wind spirit. So he would say, how did you know? I said, uh, the lion spirits would say, well, we could sense it from that there was a great spirit there as well. So we just kind of told them in the dungeon. But it still hasn't awakened it yet. But he will awaken it soon, I can feel it. Whiskin will be like, wow, so I'll get to see it soon. Uh, you know, said, yeah, probably. Then Julius would see that uh, Le oh, Lena and Austin was very close, like holding hands and all that. <coughs> Mars and Lily was like that, and Yura and uh, Mimosa was that, but they, were, they saw that Aust 
you know, but Mosa was at least 30 yet, but still. It's like, oh, so you already got a girlfriend, huh? You already got girlfriends, huh? I said, yeah, we got that. And I say, yeah, they would just admit it and so. Most of it then said, oh yeah, but no, then I was talking a little bit then. We can say, well, at least there's a banquet here. I said, okay. Oh yeah, he then uh, um his whiskey said, Oh yeah, here Austin, you get us you can put us he gave Austin Morse one star say, Go to uh, good mission on the boards there. I said, Oh yes, thanks. I still put the stars in the pocket, say we get them back later to the hideout point or something like that. So now Austin just say, Oh yeah. As he pulled into the side, said, I got something for you. She was like, what? As he got on his knee. She was like, what? Is he, is he? As the mask was like, what? The? Is he already? As he was like, what the? We're just going to say, oh, oh shit, he's moving fast. Then as the open his hand, uh, got something out of his pocket, said, do you want to marry me? As he takes out the necklace, with the, he made a pendant with the magic stone. She would say like, no, he would actually made a ring. With like a diamond in it, said, here, I bought it for you. I said, do you want to marry me? She's like, oh my god, yes. I said, yippee. I said, put the ring on, then I was kissed her and said she was really happy now. As Lily was kind of looking at her, said, when are you going to do that? As Austin said, haha, you got in trouble now, big trouble, huh? I said, looked at her, said, smirk and said, heh heh. I smart said, you bastard. I said, beat that. If you can. And Marsh said, oh, get that. I was planning on waiting. But let's just say that he did it. No, let's say that they waited until... Marsh didn't propose to uh, Lynn yet. He'll do it in the banquet sir, place. And let's say that the whiskey king doesn't left yet, leave yet. As he asked, said, can you stay here a little bit before you go? Whisk say okay, but why? And then I'll start just get on his knee in front of Lynn as everyone should say, what the or is he really? Then I'll also say open like oh have a box with the ring said, Do you want to make me the happiest man alive and marry me? She said, Oh my god, yes And she also would put the ring on then said the hug each other, kiss each other so the everyone would be like, Wow so we said, oh, so that's why. Then Marsh would say, hey, Whiskey, stay a little bit longer. Then he got on his knee and proposed to Lily. It was not just epic, but still. Because it will only be epic when Asta does it, because it's Asta. The protagonist of the entire series. Of course, it's epic when he does it. Everything is epic when Asta does it. I don't know why he makes this voice. Yeah. No, it's a different voice than I did before, but yeah. Everything is epic when Asta does it, yeah. I don't know why I made that voice, but still. That's why I said, oh yeah, oh, I gotta go leave now. As he looked at you, and I said, you know, said, oh hell no, I'm not ready for that. You're a smirk, I said, oh well, if you excuse me, I have to go now. As everyone be like suppressed, but he said, whoa, I started the voice going. Tasha said, congratulate more us than Morris. I said, yeah. And they were actually just the uh, promised marriage. They, were, they won't have their marriage yet, though. As Fiona was to see that, they said, oh, congratulate us than Morris. I said, how long have you been playing that? I said, uh, it's better not to be does and tell it. He would say, okay, yeah, okay, keep it a secret for yourself, as I said, I'd say, phew. As Lynn did, Lynn and Lily didn't really want to ask about it or anything, they just didn't care about it, because they were promised to get a marriage you now. As, yeah, and uh, there was some other people we just called, congratulate them, um, some of the Golden Dawn members was congratulate them all that. And you would find that out soon, like later, after attack on the capital. But yes, as now uh, the short and soul will go out, congratulate uh, uh, Lynn and Lily to uh, 
who get exhausted beautiful and so honorable men it seems as because yeah they really are honorable and handsome of a students kind of buried us then at Mars with compliments and how they looked and how they were and all that as all the short just left now it's said that Sol is just no no Sol is saying go and congratulate us to say oh Asta so you find the mer another Mercury magic mage uh, to marry us yes I said if it, then no Sol was whispering as I said oh, we get a kid while you on my squad I said like hell no as the first one said as the Lord said Brr. I won't let that happen. I said, Lord. Oh, and so said, what the? I said, oh yeah, this is my spirit. I then we'll see that uh, if Morse would have one too. I said, okay. I kind of said, understand, sir. Uh, we are more faithful to Crimson Lion Kings. I said, I said, then we'll see that the spirit was actually lions. I said, yeah, you're probably our idol of lions on my squad. I said, smirk and say, smirk and say, yeah. I said, I said, then uh, Lin would just kind of be rude. Then Ast would really start to muscle things. Be rude and physically. What did they, they just say about the ch 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 child? As Lin would say, Lin was heard to say, What the? As the, oh, what the? What the hell were you thinking, Michelle? As no son would smile and say, <laughs> Guess I can't beat the lion after all. As if we're going to just walk up and say, Hey, what are you doing with my members, huh? Trying to. Forced them to have babies and just forced them on the your squad just because you and that kid have similar medic, huh? Huh? As they would now pump up mana against each other. As no, before they would do that, uh, let's see that the others was there. As never and Sol just congratulate them uh, also because they knew that Asta and you, uh, Asta and, uh, and uh, it's now. Austin Morse would actually kind of be nobles because they had noble necklaces around them. As they would wonder, wait, so where did you get those necklaces from? I said, I don't know, we had them when we was born. They thought that maybe there are some noble family that's extinct now or something. Because they would heard that some before 15 years ago or something, some, like, there were a couple noble families that actually died and thought to be died out, but they might have been survivors. As if that they must have been for the same noble family. As said, for technically, yes, they are. And technically, they were right about the noble family that died out, that they asked and the Mars is from there because, yes. As they were congratulated on them as nobles and all that because they thought they were nobles, as yes, they were, but they were from the Diamond Kingdom, but no one else, no one knows about that except for it's some the experiment dude. As he won't really I eventually forget about Asta and the Marks. But yeah, let's get back to the story now. Um I don't remember which more people is there. Um then it let's just say that uh, mm, Yeah, no one else was there as then now it would be if you go and the soul comparing the mana together as they got in a fight of where uh about that figure said hey are you trying to force my kid force my squad members to get a kid already they're still kids you know and so said i don't want their kid anyway there's too much lion in them and i want any lion on my squad he said is there a problem with lions you got and so said yes you got a problem with eagles and so figure said of course i have i hate those as now they were just compared the mana together as now the mage would say run and say the Kepler's under attack! Asta and Mars would immediately say, What the? Then it would sense the mana from some said, The Kepler's under attack, I would repeat. The stone, like the earth dude, like you use this medic to create that, like, uh, a copy of the capital of the Mina map, as Mars and uh, Asta would say, There's no time for this. And they just grabbed uh, vice versa, as Asta grabbed Lena and said, Time to go. I just call, used this broom because he had it in his grimoire store and get there. As he took it out and just flew out, opened the window and flew out with Lin holding on to Lin. As Mars did the same thing. As we're going to say, what the? What, uh, uh, guess I have to scold them up when I get back here. Leopold will say, hey, I haven't congratulated you yet. As then he has run off the room, out of the ground and said, and Leopold will stay there and say, huh, I haven't congratulated him yet and they dare to leave. 
I've got to say, guess I have to teach them the basics when they get back, huh? I so, said, yeah. Everything like, if we're going to sort them out, that's just the same as in canon. And now, after this, Austin and Lynn was arrived there. Austin, Lynn, and Mars, and Lily was arrived to the same place as Austin did in canon. So they save that girl more faster now. As the uh, radius would say, what the? Four medic knights and the say, Crimson Lion Kings as well. And then we see Austin Mar that Austin Mars had lions on their shoulders. Say, what the? That was, you are the worst. You have spears as lions for this world. What the hell? Austin say, more correctly, we're the, the, this is actually the twin, cr crystal twins, spirits. As he was like, what the hell, I've never heard of those spirits before. I said, I can't blame you, they are the rarest ones. And now, you'll pay for attacking your capital. As Austin Morse would have thrown some mineral magic at them. While, uh, as the radius and all that, as while Lily and Lynn just fought off the zombies and killed them. Then radius would summon all his four, like, number four to one spirits. Uh, like, no, not spirits, but his number four, four to one, like, not... Uh, favorite song so that as it was Jimmy, Alfred, Carl, and uh, I I don't fucking remember what the four the fourth name was, but yes, let's call the four one fourth one gift. As then also will just use his medic just burn like no not burn it because he doesn't have fire medic. He would just uh, use his mercury and crystal medic uh, combining just a uh, crist uh, uh, mercury crystal sword. As there is quite a sword of it and it's shot the uh, number two and number one in path. As now um, Alfred and, uh, and uh, Jeff would just be down for the count. Mars would just burn the others. As then I'm saying, now it's time for you to pay. Said I to re look at radius and radius say no, 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 cliffhanger time, yay! As this is where I'll be ending this what if video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please just end up, please just subscribe and click that notification bell. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. And if you do and like this particular video, you can please just leave a like, comment down below if you like it, and if something you want me to change in it or anything. And I will do it, I oh, most likely do it in the next video. Uh, so yeah, and just so you know, a quick reminder, I won't, uh, I won't actually do any content, like, quite any new series of the this series actually, because I have some other series to continue on, all that, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and this will be where I'm ending now. Uh, peace out, stay safe.